Check that out. <clears throat> This is like the dinner bell, guys. This is a pretty cool gift from Shave Nation that was sent by an awesome viewer who you probably all know by now, Mr. Mike Vance. <clears throat> Jim G, what's up, buddy? So this is the Shave Nation Indestructible, Indestructible, Mike Vance. Thank you, Mike. I just opened up your gift. I'm ringing the dinner bell. So the claim to fame here, Kelly Vance, hey, and this is the bubblegum finish. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. Zachariah, what's up, brah? So this is the bubble gum finish. Interesting color choice from, from me, Mike. Uh, Shave Nation. It has these bumps inside the bowl to help with Danny K. What's up, brah? It has the bumps inside to help create the foam. A little aeration activity. And it's supposed to be indestructible. So if you drop it, it's, it's supposed to be able to take some drops. I'm not going to be dropping this. It was a gift, Jimmy G. And I haven't frequented um, the Shave Nation site. So Mike Vance might be able to tell you. But it was, it's a nice gift. And I'm going to use that on some upcoming videos, guys. Uh, I'm just kidding with you. Daniel, what's up, brah? Listen, Mike, I'm in, I love it. I'm not complaining. This won't end well. No, it won't. And another viewer I want to thank, Mr. John Smith. Jay Smith sent me a vintage razor. Now, the story behind this, guys, is that my boy John Smith, a while back, IGT. He was into the vintage razor game and he picked up this a Lord L5, which he tells me is a Gillette Tech clone. I'll be on this bowl. This bowl is the, is the thing, right? I'm sitting on some choice property right here. So the Gillette che uh, Tech clone, or the Gillette Tech, was a very economical razor that was made by Gillette. I want to say, I'm not even going to say when it was made and produced, but it's a three-piece. This is Lord, and it's a very lightweight system and what Gillette what I, I saw in another video was that this piece was easily replicated or easily manufactured so they wanted to make a system that passed that economy on to the buyer so I think when these were released you could pick up a Gillette tech for 30 35 69 cents or something of that nature. Again, I don't know too much about it, but I think it's pretty snazzy. Manufactured in the 40s until the 70s. See that? Jim G, you need your own channel, brah. Or you could just give me all the facts on this channel if you'd like. You could be like the, the statistician. But this is nice. Jimmy, what do you think about the Lord L5? I want to thank John Smith <clears throat> for sending this. You live to share. Love it. Antique. And again, very light 
and from what I gather, a very um, mild shave. It's an economy razor for under $10. See that? But I can't wait to give it a whirl. Do you have one of these, Jimmy? I love that. No. Look at that. So to John Smith, I want to thank you. And to my man, Mike Vance, I want to thank you too. Looking forward to using both. Maybe what I'll do, guys, is I'll use them in an upcoming video. Oh, really? Brian the Floridian just did a review a few days ago. All right. Happy shaving. I'm going to use these together in an upcoming review. <clears throat> How's everyone doing today? Um, a product placement, I got contacted earlier by Coca-Cola, and they said if I put this in the shot, they'd send me a case of Coke. So it's going to be in every shot from now on. Just kidding. Just kidding. How's everyone today? Geo, Geo Fat Boy did a review on the bowl. So does this make for, like, worry-free... Easy lather because of these nubs? Or is it, what is, I mean, I can see the appeal of the bowl. Easy to grip. Did you like the Budweiser Nitro beer, Zach? Easy to grip, guys. It agitates the lather very quickly. Makes lathering easy. How many people have this bowl? Danny K is barbecuing. Mark Cole, what's up? Bruh. You still have five left. Yeah, it's, I thought it was a very smooth beer. And I believe that's the nitro process. They make nitro coffee, which tends to be very creamy and smooth. So I'm assuming that that's cold, sort of a cold uh, brew process. The handle makes it easy to lather. So you can lather it like this, right? You hold it, you can hold it sort of like that and really get into it. Very smooth and creamy it is. Beautiful. He runs over with his truck. Mark Call, you're watching Moonshiners. I love Moonshiners. I haven't watched it in a while. Yeah, it's a nice bowl, and I and I thank Mr. Vance for sending it to me. Caramel sweet flavor. Yeah, you're making me want to go get a beer, Zach. Brah. Don't do that to me. I got my Coca-Cola. How many of you on this stream are Coke people made in the USA? You got to like that. And as opposed to Pepsi people. Zach likes Pepsi. Danny likes Coke. Al Bion is investing in a new bowl. IGT likes Coke. Coke on Vance. Coca-Cola. Butter gin. Coke is too much acid. All right. It has a center, an indentation for your cream soaps. Oh. You want me to do a test lather? All right, Danny K. I, I, can, I think I can do that. I'll pull out the brush. Pepsi, just because Coke seems to be a lot more popular. <laughs> M. Jones. The new Cook fail. The new Cook fail? 
The new cook. Oh, you mean the new uh, Coke fail? Yeah. So I the I believe. I think it was 1984. I could be wrong. And I believe what happened was Pepsi had started to to gain some momentum and people were saying that it was sweeter. So this bowl is darker. It's a dark it's a I think it's called bubble gum. New Coke in 1985. All right. So 1985 uh, because of the uh, popularity of Pepsi, and it was perceived to be a younger person's drink, they started to mess with the, the formula of Coke, and it was not good. Not good. Not good for Coke. So they quickly had to go back to Coke Classic. Yeah, it's either you're either a blue house or a red house when it comes to more than just politics, when it comes to your soft drink. Really, a doc, a movie based on soda wars, like shave wars. All right, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get some lather, and we'll do a test lather here. All right, Sprite, Mark Hall, you got it right, bro. <sighs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'll put a little light on the subject, and then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little towel down, because Jackie will kill me. She'll kill me if I make a mess. So that's the first thing. We were talking about sandalwood yesterday. Percy is sleeping. And he is not happy with me. Look at that. All right. Favorite brush. Bring some more color in. And let's do a test lather. And I see I haven't lost too many folks. So for, you, for the folks that may have just joined, I wanna thank the viewers, Mr. John Smith, for sending me this Lord L5 razor, it, which is a Gillette Tech clone, from what I gather. Very nice. Upcoming shave with this. And my boy, Vance, for sending me this beautiful, indestructible, nubby or bumpy shaving bowl from Shave Nation. And let's get more light on the subject. All right. We've got Taylor of Old Bond Street. All right, T Lord makes a platinum blade. All right, so we'll try that. All right, so this is a synthetic badger hair brush, which means I don't have to really soak this brush. <laughs> Bong Street, yeah. I can just dip it in there and get it wet, but I don't have to soak it. Now, Jim G is going to give us the step-by-step -step guide to making good lather. 
So the first thing you want to do is have that wet brush and you want to load. Now probably I'm doing this wrong, Jimmy. What do you say? Do I want to load it up this way or do I want to put some in that bowl? What would you do, Jim? Or does it really matter? Typically what I would do is do scoop almond sized amount into the bowl. All right. About that much. And put it right in that bowl. All right, what do we do next, Jimmy? You got an almond-sized amount in the bowl. RK516, what's up, bro? Make sure brush is damp. It's damp. I'll make it a little bit more damp. All right, Jimmy. What's next, bro? Don't use too much water at first. Okay. Myron Gaines. Begin swirling tight. All right. Oh. Tim Williams. And adding drops as I go. All right. So I see that little tight little swirls there in the bottom. That looks pretty good. Is it time to add water yet? Then expand a bit, lightly adding some water from the brush tips only. So should I dip it in? Oh, our, oh all right. Well, I'm going to expand it out a little bit with my hand. Oh, that's nice. Look at that, guys. Look at that lather coming. So now you have these tiny little bubbles. Like Don Ho says. What's next? Don't be afraid to add more water if needed. I'm not afraid, Jimmy. Because I've got you in RK. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. Or you think I'm good? You think I could just build it up? Lather until I see peaks. Getting there, right? More water? Just had, just add tiny drops by hand. Okay, more drops when bubbles are next to none. Oh, those, those last couple of drops, guys. I'm almost there. Oh, this is a nice bowl, Vance. Vance, do you have one of these bowls? Oh, that's nice. Oop, up. I'm messing up the camera. Yeah, it looks good. And I like the, the open. You don't have one of these bowls, Vance? Well, I really do feel honored. Oh, this is nice, and it smells delicious. Now, I haven't been using it the right way. Jimmy says I'm there. Oh, yeah. So, Jimmy, I heard that if you want more lather, you just keep adding more water. For more lather, you add more water. 
You're making me want to shave, guys. So let's try that. You're hearing the snap, crackle, and pop? That's not good. Damn it. YouTube is driving me insane. With this live popping. What a beautiful, just an almond sized amount. Makes all this great lather. Oh, uh, it looks beautiful. Vance, I'm really happy with this bowl and I really appreciate you sending it, my man. And you need to You need to add this to your game. I don't want it too thin yet. So you want, Danny K says, not too thin. So you really want to work it to the consistency of like a Greek yogurt, right? Like a thick yogurt. Now there is a Wilkinson sword razor well, thank you jimmy and thanks for the the play-by-play -play, jim g it looks good and that bowl is great if you add too much water you can add more soap so it's really just coming up with the perfect soap to water ratio guys <laughs> use it now i'm not ready to shave i'll tell you why my next shave is going to be with the one blade for a viewer who has asked me. He's on the precipice of buying one blade, but he's a little worried that he won't be able to use one blade for his every other day shave. It beats canned foam every day of the week. You're right. Thanks, Mike's Van thanks, thanks to Mike Vance. So tomorrow I think I'm going to do a one-blade shave after two days of growth. I don't remember what the gentleman's name is, but I will have it when I do the, when I do the video. And I'm going to show. Turn this around. I'm going to show how you can... Cut this, this amount of stubble, two days. Take care, IGT. I'm going to, is it a ceramic bowl? It, it feels ceramic. But it's indestructible, is what I'm told. It's, it's not ceramic, Vance? Vance would know. Whatever it is, it makes a damn good lather ball. Thank you, Danny K. Danny K and Mike Vance, I got something today I want to show you guys. Hang on, because I know you both love camo as much as I do. So in this day and age of in this day and age of the COVID nonsense, we all have to wear these masks and face coverings. I ordered two of these today or a few days ago. Mossy Oak 
face covering. See that? Mike Vance. I think Mike Vance has a stars and stripes. But I know you guys, you and Danny K like the uh, camo just as much as I do. This is made by Buff. Really? Did she make you um, the the face shields? Not these. Uh, these are actually like a a neck, a gaiter. You have a camo one too. I know you do because you love camo just as much as I do, bruh. I'm not gonna shave tonight. I probably that's probably like a it's probably a in bad form not to use this lather. Captain's Choice has a copper indestructible shave bowl. Huh. The actual masks. That's great, man. That's awesome. I can't wait until we don't need these masks anymore. How about that one? Feel that soap between your thumb and forefinger. Oh, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Peak, Jim. It's slick, yes, it's slick. And mossy oak is the way to go. Save the, I don't know if you can save the lather. Because when I come back to a lather like this, when I was doing a lot of tests, I'd come back and it, it would be in a different form. Wouldn't hold up. Oh, she works in the medical field. Well, she should get a big shout out. So everybody that's here, Let's send a shout out to Danny Kay's beautiful woman, Jackie, for being a frontline worker out helping all the people that are sick. And even if she's, I don't know if she's dealing with people that have COVID, but anyone in the medical field today, anyone in the medical field is dealing with a big thank you to Jackie from everybody. I should do something similar to 10 days and 10 shaves. Yes, I, I, I'm thinking about it. Big thank you to Jackie. And Danny K, you have to show Jackie this section of the video at about 27 minutes in. We all want to say thank you to Jackie. And she picked a good man too. So she's got, she, not only is she a good, uh, good worker, she has good sense. <laughs> Another thing I want to remind you guys, if you haven't already done so, please like this video. It's helpful. Now, what do I owe you guys before I go? What do I owe you? Hats off to all medical professionals, our, our first responders, our cops, our military, all the people, the EMTs, the fire people, everyone that's out there every day, and people that work in stores and fast food restaurants that are dealing with our crap. Truck drive, you're right, truck drivers, grocery store employees, anyone that's out there that, that you know, they're essential workers that have had to work. A lot of people are either working from home now or they're getting paid not to work. And they're just dealing with like their family and they're dealing with like being quarantined. But imagine every day you're getting up and you still have to go and fight with people. Worry about your health. Worry about what's going on at home. Big, big kudos. And I'm hoping that soon, guys, we'll be, we'll be done. Or at least we'll put this chapter in the back burner. So what do I owe you guys? I owe you a time. How does the economy affect marketing? It depends on what you're doing. So 
you're always marketing, correct? So people now have switched their marketing to a new messages. Overall, the economy has been down. So, um, but from from the actual marketing of what's going on today, you know, new messaging, um, another angle, what's next. I'm doing well. You still go to work too? Well, Danny K, let's shout out to Danny K. I've been I've been working from home for about four and a half years now, so this working at home was not a new thing for me. But certainly the um, you know the quarantine. How do you send me stuff? Reach out to me on either here on YouTube, or if you have Facebook. Or if you have uh, Twitter or Instagram, you can send me a direct message. I don't want to share your email out in the open. You can send me an email through YouTube. There's a way to do it. I think it's in the about section. And it asks you to just put your email in. And it kind of verifies in this world of hacking. Um, and y you can send stuff. And I appreciate it. And I will use it. So I owe you guys a time. I'm thinking I like this time. After the video, lather up still is natural. Oh, all right. So I can put it, I can put it on. So you're saying I can just put that right into my beard. Because you know what? It is a soap, right? So this is a cream, but a lot of them are soaps. It's a crope. Here we go. So we can put that right on. Oh, it smells good, guys. So we are using it. All right, so well, let's let's lather up then. Yeah. That's nice. See, I have my my gator on from being out today. Beautiful. I love it. Now should I go outside and scare everybody? Walk around like this? Talk to myself? Look at that coverage. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And turn this back around. So again, I want to thank show, show supporters, Mr. Mike Vance, for this beautiful Shave Nation indestructible. And my boy, John Smith, who I haven't seen on here today for this beautiful Lord L5 three-piece razor, vintage razor. I <laughs> go to Costco and show it, say it's my mask. Shave Nation. And I want to thank you guys for joining tonight. Do we like this time slot? Sort of like after dinner? Maybe Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. What do we think about that? RK, yes. So, like a 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock-ish? 7 o'clock. So that's Eastern Time. Some of you are on Central Time. <laughs> Rob Bruno. So let me talk to Jackie. I'm going to make sure, because you know what? You got to make sure it works for the family, right? And I will publish a schedule. I kind of like the impromptu. I kind of like the impromptu 
reviews or, or, or lives, but I think having a schedule would be nice. So I'm going to do that, guys. And I'll publish that soon. I'll check with the manager, and I'll get back to you guys. IGT is back! You missed it, IG. I put on, I lathered up. See that? I'll do a little bit more. I lathered up. Because Jimmy G told me this was a nice moisturizer for my skin. CMO is good. I saw her today. Oh, yeah. I got to rinse it before it dries. All right, I'll do that now, guys. <laughs> Percy does know. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again, Mike Vance and Mr. John Smith. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. But in the meantime, you guys know what to do. KPP. See you guys. And say hi to Katie Vance for me. Mr. Mike, take care, Danny. Take care, Jimmy.